What up, fool? What up, fool? This is the Philosophy Podcast with Marcus Crespo and Dan Fitzy. Yep. Yeah. We did the old switcheroo on you guys. Yeah. Oh, didn't, <laughs> you didn't expect that. And uh, we are doing a the cap, the, uh, the, the, the season or this, the season finale of the fast food uh, talk. Yeah. Um, we are talking about... We reached the top of the mountain. The top of the mountain, the pinnacle. Yeah. Uh, we are talking about the... Uh, they should maybe they should change their name to Burger King because uh, they are the king. Uh, they would hate but that. They yeah. <laughs> that would that would greatly tarnish their reputation. I, I'm pretty sure the family McDonald's would love it though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. We we're, we're speaking of we we're talking about McDonald's. 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 Mickey D's. Uh, we are loving it. Ba uh, ba ba ba. <laughs> That and, uh, was a trick too, man. That was genius marketing too. We'll talk about that later. Yeah, the bot 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 bot. That's fantastic. It's it's, it's Justin so Timberlake. Really? That's Justin Timberlake. Okay, we're gonna have to get to that. That's we're gonna have to get to that. Cry me a river, Burger King. I did <laughs> That's not. JT. Know. Okay, I'm definitely yeah. definitely gonna get to that. It's crazy how they did it. We'll talk about it. Okay, we definitely yeah we're definitely there's there's a lot to unpack with this uh, McDonald's episode. Yeah, McDonald's. Uh, uh, they are not the first. Uh, but they are the most popular. Uh, the yeah. first, obviously, was we, co- we covered it last time. Uh, White Castle. White Castle was the first fast mm-hmm. food burger place. And look how they're doing. Uh, they're doing pretty good, honestly. <laughs> Crystal's is the one that's struggling. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Blow to Mason Dixon. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. They're the trailer park of the, the small, small burger joint. The small burger wars. Uh, yeah, yeah. One's won. a high rise and one's a a meth lab <laughs> trailer, trailer park. park. <laughs> yeah, a Daytona base. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I just chat all over Daytona. I love uh, Daytona. But at the it's top, both of, scary and fun. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like sex with me. Okay, I don't know why I went there. <laughs> That's unnecessary. At the obviously, you guys, have, if you're listening, uh, you guys know at the top of every episode, we do a couple quotes, rattle off a couple quotes with quote read, time, either, either with the founder or the the main person associated yes. with the company. And uh, we're we're gonna we're not gonna do the founders. It's no. the brothers, and they got pushed out by this. Gentleman. They declined to be interviewed. <laughs> yeah, they their family they're, they're, they're pleading the fifth. Uh, yeah. Ray Kroc. Ray Kroc is Ray uh, Kroc. We are gonna get to him in a minute, but he's got some some interesting quotes. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off with very like like live laugh love type quotes, quotes, and then get to the juicier ones. Yeah, right, the first one true, is his true character. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, if you believe in it. And you believe in it hard. It is impossible to fail. Yeah, that's that also sounds like a Pornhub uh, t- uh, yeah. uh, comment thread or something. A little rapey. A little rapey. <laughs> um, if you follow her all the uh, way home to her apartment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She 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 gave me she gave me googly eyes. Um, this one this one could be this could, since we're both comedians this could almost be like a comedian quote too. Okay, uh, you'll learn more about the road or look you'll learn more about a road by traveling in it than by consulting all the maps in the world. Oh, okay, so, yeah, I like it. Basically, experience over, yeah, uh, ed, you know, the, this, book knowledge. The, the quotes the quotes almost feel like. Uh, you know how you like when you meet someone on a date, yeah. And you show them your good side, uh-huh. and you get to know them more, and then it, you start unpeeling the layers, yeah. Because then the quotes Peel start back getting that onion. All right, here's a little bit, a little. Uh, we're peeling back a little bit. Okay, onion layer. Now, three. Third quote. Third quote. This is like this is after like, like date twelve. <laughs> if you're not a risk taker, you should get the hell out of business. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, get get the hell out of here! All right, yeah. So that's that's. All right. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, yeah, I get it. Now this quote now sounds like you've been dating. I feel like that's almost that quote is almost directed at the McDonald brothers because he was all about growth. Yeah, Ray Kroc, and they wanted to be conservative because they were concerned about quality. Yeah, and they thought too much growth would compromise quality. So I feel like that's almost that quote. Probably came around a time that he was arguing with them about opening more stores. After after he told security to kick him out of the board meeting. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much what happened. <laughs> if you don't want to take risk, get the hell out of Get out of this business. <laughs> We're in room 4B. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. And now this quote now sounds like you've been dating for four years and he's seeing someone on the side. <laughs> and he's letting you know that it's over. Um, if any of my competitors were drowning... I'd stick a hose in her mouth and turn on the water. Wow. <laughs> it is ridiculous to call this an industry. This is not. This is rat eat rat, dog eat dog. 
I'll kill them, and I'm going to kill them before they kill me. You're talking about the American way of survival of the fittest. That's an actual attributed quote to Ray Kroc. I'm not sure. Wow. That doesn't sound real. That almost sounds like, well, you know how we joke? Like, would you like a happy meal? That, <laughs> this, you, would you like a hug? That's what, that, that, that almost sounds, I'll kill him before. <laughs> I'll stick a hose in his mouth and turn the water on. That's what he said. While he's drowning. While he's like, drowning. That's, that is some saw trap level shit. That I don't. It almost sounds fake. It almost sounds. You know how I joke or like. Here's a quote from the. Uh, yeah, Carter, have we verified we're this. We're like, I don't know. It just has a, p- a picture of him next to him. Well, he's smiling. Sm- with this a smug asshole smile too. Yeah, it's like, I know. It's like, <laughs> He looks like Brian Doyle Murray. No, no, but there's, there's like th- <laughs> I looked it up. There's three. There's three separate quotes from di- three different three different sites of, with that same quote. Where some of it was oh, like, so it's got to be. It's definitely like this is the full version of it, but there's chunks of it. Like one quote has like part of it, and the other quote has another part of it. Man, that's yeah. awesome. I mean, he's. I, I don't know if awesome is the right word. I mean, that's like it's shocking because McDonald's has is built on this like wholesome image. Yeah. Of like you know you ever seen Tommy of- Boy. Yeah. Okay. So th- you know, I have, how- Tom, I have the transcript <laughs> tattooed on my back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know, you know when they when they when they have Ray Zelensky on camera versus Ray, Ray Zelensky behind pu- yeah. uh, closed doors. That's what this quote feels like. <laughs> yeah, they yeah, had a yeah. recording. Ray Zelensky's like, "The truth is, I don't care about the American <laughs> public." Yeah, that's what that feels like. It was. Uh, I was like, "What the fuck?" A little that's- heavy on the pine there, son. <laughs> 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 I got that's a so plan. <laughs> Little trick that my dad taught me. Uh, oh. Bees. <laughs> they're, they're, they're angry. Your firearms are useless against it's them. St- I'm allergic. Can they get out of there? We should just change the podcast so we just quote Tommy Boy for an hour. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. Probably. Quit playing with your dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, right. I the best um, name uh, for a food truck I've seen. Along the way here in my travels, uh, Austin, Texas, there was yeah. a food truck called Tommy Want Wingy. Tommy Want Wingy? You felt like from I Tommy Boy. I hope that still exists because I hope I'm so going to be in Austin next weekend. Oh, okay. It's on Rainy yeah. Street, which is like a Rainy. cool little area of like houses converted to bars. And then there's a bunch of food trucks. Oh, my and then God. Tommy hope- Want Wingy. They're closed. So unfortunately, I couldn't. I didn't get food to eat, so I don't. I can't tell you if it's good or not. It's oh, probably yeah. good. All the food in Austin's amazing. Oh man, I've I've heard, I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Also, I want to try Whataburger because uh, you know going a couple of episodes back and uh, In and Out. Oh no, not Whataburger. Whataburger's here. In and Out. That's In and Out. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, why I brought up here. Whataburger. Get In and Out, man, and In-N-Out. then uh, yeah. be. <laughs> Realize it's fast food. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's mortal. It's yeah, mortal. Yeah. Uh, it's make, good. But uh, so uh, McDonald's, I did. I just found this out. Uh, McDonald's was founded in 1940. Yep. Yeah. San Bernardino. Yep. San Bernardino by the McDonald brothers, Richard and Maurice. That was their names. Richard and Maurice McDonald. Okay. Yeah. A lot of my knowledge comes from that movie, but okay. I don't yeah. even remember that. No, but yeah. So so 1940. So. Were we, were, did we did we get involved in World War? No, not yet. Not yet. Uh, uh, Pearl Harbor didn't even happen yet. No. Nope. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, the Nazis were occupying Europe and stuff. Yeah. And Things then, were happening. And then uh, not, Richard not, and Maurice. I think we were just, hanging out. Yeah. Richard and Maurice is flipping burgers. Not yeah. knowing the Third Reich is happening. <laughs> Jeez. Or, or that the the Japanese are about to drop a bomb on us. They're just like these are good quality burgers. I think we dropped the bomb. Ray Kroc dropped a bomb on them. <laughs> Ray, <laughs> on the brothers. Ray, Ray, Ray Kroc Pearl Harbor them uh, yeah. <laughs> emotionally. <laughs> they um, uh, from from what I was reading, they sold barbecue also. Yeah, in the early think, days. Yeah, they had like a couple of different items. Um, yeah. and then burgers sold the best, right? Yeah. And they, so they re, they rechristened as a burger stand. But I I saw yeah. I actually while I was looking up uh, facts and stuff, I saw they had like. Uh, an old sign that said McDonald's barbecue. That's awesome. And I was like, what? I bet it was terrible. No, in the early days, this was when the, the uh, Maurice and, and uh, Richard were running it. So it was probably quality because remember Ray Kroc, yeah. he did that, that steam like that uh, Henry Ford level. Uh, oh, yeah, like the, the line. Yeah, assembly line. Assembly line thing. They were all about, he said they were all about quality. He yeah. was like, no, numbers, baby. Speedy system. Yeah. I'll drown you in your own drownings. <laughs> you know, I have a hose. <laughs> um, 
so was it uh the golden arches logo was introduced in 1953 okay so mm. that actually predates ray Kroc's involvement in the company okay by two yeah years, by two years uh because ray Kroc uh joined in 1955 okay yeah. so that's a good whole 15 weird. years uh, yeah thir- well 13, 13 years, years after they opened before the arches are introduced that's yeah. interesting yeah which is one of the brothers ideas i believe um the arches and they looked weird first because it, it wasn't it wasn't like the M like like it wasn't like two two arches making making an M for McDonald's. It was before it was just like two arches crisscrossing across each other, and the M looked weird or something. It was very strange looking. Um, and then once they created the the the, I think in like the sixties they created the almost whatever symbolizes like the more modern one. Yeah, and they just ran with that for like decades. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 They're, well, yeah, if it's like, if it works, it works, you know? Yeah. Um, it's so identifiable, like, in the, you know, the the Golden Arches, you know? People yeah. just I recognize it's one of those brands. And then, um, then in, yeah, then in 1955, old Ray Kroc, get out of my way or I'll drown you. Um, I'll kill you, kill or be killed. <laughs> he joined in 1955 and then uh, as a franchise agent and then bought, the chain from the brothers and that that makes it well, sound very nice because it's so, not like a hostile takeover you you know more about that well i know so in the movie um the founder um so he was uh a milkshake machine salesman uh um, oh, okay so he made you know so he would sell his o- equipment to restaurants and so he'd go around and try to sell these machines and he was struggling and um someone from uh, San Bernardino, which was this McDonald's brother, ordered like six machines, and um, the people at his office told him about it. And he was like, "That's got to be like some mistake, because nobody orders six machines, you know. Nobody that's out of control." So he calls them, and he says, "Like, hey, I got an order. He said you want like six machines. So it's got to be a mistake. I wanted to like see." And they're like, "Oh yeah, better make it like 12. <laughs> um, and he's like, "What?" And so he was so intrigued by you know like i have to see what's going on out there so he traveled out to san bernardino um to the location and he shows up and it's mcdonald's and it's a burger stand and it's just people hanging out and their paper bags and their paper wrapped stuff which was unheard of yeah um and they're sitting around the restaurant eating and it's everybody so it's like people who are working it's families it's kids it's like old people young people it's like everybody so he notices that and then he goes up and orders and he says like I'll have like a you know whatever burger and fries and they they take his money and they just like turn around and give it to him and it's like you know 20 seconds like how fast food is yeah and he's stunned and he's like I just ordered this like it can't be my order I just I just ordered like it can't be ready so he's just shocked about the whole thing and yeah. he, it's really good and then so he gets like that's basically his introduction or the Hollywood introduction. I don't know yeah, if yeah, it yeah. exactly went like that. I mean, probably, I mean, I mean, Hollywood. I mean, they 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 bedazzled a little bit, but I mean, from what I understand, like he went out there, he did go out there and like yeah. check the place out. Yeah, I mean, and then and and then that's what the Saw brothers the potential in it. That's what know? the brothers did uh, with White Castle. Yes. You know? Yeah. So there, I mean, there's a lot of industries that were inspired by White Castle. So yeah, people just sense. like get yeah. It's cool to see people get inspired and run with an idea. Yeah. So it's, it's it's pretty pretty interesting, uh, and then uh, Ray Kroc is in. Um, he's attributed to being the founder of the McDonald's Corporation, right? Yeah. So he met um, uh, the guy who a guy who was involved with like Baskin Robbins or something. I forget his name. Okay, Harry something with an S or something. Yeah, I forget his name. I don't think we covered that. One. Um, but he that guy gave him the idea. Because they were started to franchise, but they were the McDonald brothers wanted to keep it small, because they were concerned about quality control. They were like, they're like, it's our name, you know, it's our restaurant. We want to keep it uh, everything precise. They were yeah. like precise number of pickles, onions, like very everything the same, you know. Yeah. Um, and the uh, guy who they sort of started franchising and Ray Kroc wanted to grow and he's complaining, um, and the guy overheard him. Uh, I forget his name, Harry something. I don't know. But he was like, you know, the real money is not in the franchising. It's in the land. So he said, like, you need to buy the land and then rent uh, rent the thing to the, the franchisees. franchisees. 
Yeah. That's why they McDonald's became a real estate company, basically. So they were buying land and then putting a store there, renting that out. So they're they own the land. They charge re- franchise fees. They get a cut of the profit. And then it's also all this prime, this real estate in all yeah, these prime I locations. Got, I got. A, if you think about McDonald's, like you go around um, anywhere you go, you see a McDonald's, right? They're everywhere. But yeah. not only that, McDonald's are always in a very visible spot, usually on a corner. Yeah, they're always. It's always prime real estate. So imagine they own all of that. So that's you know, they're making money off burgers, but really it's a land. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to. Oh, the company owns all the land uh, where the rest- restaurants are situated, and that's that's valued at sixteen to eighteen billion dollars mm. just in real estate. Yeah, uh, that's not even sales. That's insane. Yeah, just um, assets. Uh, yeah, significant portion of his revenue from rental payments from the franchisees, um, and they keep going up the re- the rental payments and stuff. Um, yeah, it's in the news a lot. The franchisees complain all the time. And then it's, it, they're making so much money off of it. Like, uh, they're basically, they're almost, they're, they've been clo- very close to getting their hand forced into uh, spinning their holdings, like s- separate holdings, into a real estate holdings. Mm. Like separate money, I guess. Um, that's crazy. That's insane. Yeah. Could you imagine, uh, like, if they actually had to do that? If they had to spin it off and, like, because I really don't think people know that, you know, like, I think people watch, maybe watch the movie, learn about that. Yeah. Or, like, people who are into, um, I don't know shit about it. Though. Or I maybe do, people just, who invest in McDonald's, you know, I'm sure people, they know about it. I, uh, I just know that, um, when most places are closed, I can get a burger and then. And McDonald's is fascinating. I, I, yeah. I heard, like, a Freakonomics episode, um, about the quarter pa- the mcdouble i think it was yeah and it's like the most they called it like the most economical uh food item like in america yeah. and basically like um a mcdouble you could get it's like a dollar 50 or like a dollar whatever you yeah, know it's it like a dollar 75 yeah, whatever yeah so it's real cheap but it's um and it's like i forget what they said 400 calories or something yeah so and they were saying like what you get for the money, it's like one of the most uh, economical uh, items of food you could buy. Um, Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Sense. I don't know if no, that's I mean, true or whatever. But could you imagine like a hamburger, and it's a che- it's a double cheeseburger. Yeah. Um, but you have like meat, so you have a cow. You have a bun, so you have wheat uh, yeah. from a field. You have a pickle, which was a cucumber. Yeah. You have onions, which is was an onion, even yeah. though they taste like fake vegetables. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, all that stuff. Uh, for, but four hundred calories—that's that's crazy. Because like, I don't know if that's right. That could be. It could be three hundred or whatever. I mean, it's still like a candy bar. Like I've 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 looked at the back of candy bars. The candy bar, like a Carmelo. Like a, I don't know if you've had those. Oh yeah, uh, they're delicious. Dude, but like, do, do who I look like? I never. I, <laughs> if I could get, I could eat a Carmelo right now. Oh man, I could go for one right now. But on the back of those, a Carmelo, like a regular size, not even a. King Is it size. a caram Caramelo? Carmelo? I did. I did. I just call it Carmelo. Like Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, Carmelo Anthony. Yeah. So every time I yeah, I'd like, I was like to he think was named, named after Candy Bar. Yeah. I know it. Uh, this, this, but it, I mean, this candy bar is a, a great a simple game. candy bar. <laughs> in most cases, I, 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 like Hershey is like three hundred calories. Really? A candy bar. So for 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 our, for our fools, uh, for our a yeah, double that doesn't seem right. Then you would think it'd be a lot more. Maybe McDonald's is lying about their nutrition. Imagine, uh, imagine dummies like us uncovered some kind of stuff. I mean, it could be they had that. Uh, what was that Morgan Spurlock guy? Or whatever the the super. Yeah, he ate dude. McDonald's and he was dying after like a few days. Yeah. Could you imagine eating McDonald's? Like, did he eat three meals a day for a super size? Yeah. Man? See, that's a that's obsessive. Yeah, like you don't, yeah. you can't do that. But you, I, eat, if you ate anything three times a day, not anything. I mean, I guess if it was healthy, but <clears throat> any kind of like thing, same thing three times a day for a month, I feel like you'd get. You'd yeah. be messed up. Yeah, because yeah. it's not meant for that kind of type of consumption. Yeah, it we're was in a, America, uh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> was it Greg Gerardo had a bit about uh, fast food? He's like, uh, you you treat it like your wife's vagina. You know, <laughs> you show it some respect, and you only eat it when you're on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good. That, that always sticks to me every time I think of a fast so food. He's so funny. Yeah, God, yeah, R.I.P. Man. Ooh. Um, <laughs> 
Interesting. Yo, Monica, you got AIDS, yo. <laughs> God, that's such a good bit. <laughs> Other people have, you know, there's Bedside Mariner. They just have a Puerto Rican guy shouted at me across from the subway. <laughs> the um, wor- McDonald's is the world's second largest private employee. Wow. One, Behind Walmart? Mm-hmm. 1.7 million employees. Wow. And uh, I didn't look that Walmart thing up. I just guessed. But oh, I mean, but I mean Walmart's huge. It totally so made, well, thing. I was thinking, if not Walmart, Amazon. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, but I mean, but Walmart, yeah, Walmart is the number one. Which, Amazon refers to its employees. <laughs> they don't call them employees; they're they, just like yeah, they're like <laughs> lemmings or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> guinea pigs. Guinea, yeah. God, they run. They don't let them take like pee breaks. They're like you pee on you pee on your on yourself. I was seeing that. They're like <laughs> they're like you don't you, you're you have allowed, to like run in the warehouse. Yeah, they're like you have a two, you have a three minute pee break, but it takes five minutes to get to the bathroom or some shit like that. I could relate to that. Um, in like I worked at Whole Foods for uh, like a month. Yeah, and um, you would get a fifteen minute break, but you'd have to walk over to the the person who is your manager, and she, it's like a twenty year old girl who has blue dyed hair. <laughs> Yeah. And you have to Maybe. walk over to her and be like, I'm taking a break. And then to walk to the bathroom, you've already killed like seven minutes, you know? Like, yeah. It's nuts. That's crazy. So, like, I, I feel for like hourly workers. You can't. Thank like... you, Autumn Moonbeam, for giving me my 15 minute break. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, your gemstone put you in a good mood today. <laughs> they have, uh, as of 2020, McDonald's has the ninth highest global brand valuation. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Um, and it's like so much so they're so much bigger than the rest of the fast food industry which yeah. is nuts in terms of sales yeah. uh revenue and um they have uh 30 38,695 restaurants wow. worldwide worldwide and i saw that there was a sign for a location in brooklyn i think the sign this was in the picture of the sign was in 1994 i want to say and at that time, it said 99 billion burgers sold in wow. 94. Uh, and they, they they just kept it at that number because the, that particular sign couldn't go any higher. Yeah. You know, uh, and then just goes back to zero. Yeah. And so, I mean, that, that's got to They got They got to be in the high billions, if not trillion sold at this point. Oh, yeah. There's, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah. And I've eaten I would probably trillion, several million right? myself. Like, uh, yeah. It's a, I count for one million. Yeah, I count for I count for a whole huge notch in that belt. Uh, Do you like McDonald's? Does anyone really like McDonald's? I think <clears> I, I mean people like McDonald's fries. Their fries yeah. are definitely a that is that is a favorite of theirs. I like their nuggets. I, re- I recognize that. Uh, I don't like like I like I will take like a double cheeseburger at McDonald's over like a Big Mac or a quarter pounder. Yeah. I don't know why, because it's like it's a different kind of patty. The it's almost like the meat is shitty, but it has a particular like it tastes like McDonald's. I don't know how to describe it other than that. Yeah, it's like the combination of flavor. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't mind it, but I don't eat like I don't I don't eat it. Um, I don't eat it much, but it's like uh, people either like viciously hate it. Some people hate it, but yeah. I mean, else, it, it's always be, it's always busy. It's always like you always hear about families going. Now, now if I had to, if I had to choose between a Burger King burger yeah. and a McDonald's burger, I would definitely go with Burger King. Yeah, the flame grilled like Whopper versus like the uh, the quarter pounder. I haven't done a, a side by patty. side. Yeah, I've had I've had I've had them because like my fat ass is like I gotta know. You know, see, I think after my, the last time I went to Burger King was with you. No, oh, it was a terrible experience. And I had a they gave me a burger and I would th- I th- say I think I would choose McDonald's. Yeah. But I mean, I'm sure people would argue against me. They're not McNuggets are good. Yeah. They're McNuggets. I, I've had McNuggets hot. I've had the McNuggets cold. Yeah. And they spicy still, McNuggets. Uh, they're still good to me. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I know they were it, developed by a uh, like a gourmet chef, like a Michelin star chef oh, okay even though they're like shitty like yeah, it's chicken like, it's, it's supposed like to be chicken, like it's supposed to be like pink slime or something but, like, yeah. the actual batter of um mcnuggets was like like a high level chef developed that and it's um tempura battered and uh, now if you go to a korean fried chicken place yeah like banchan yeah yeah if you go there um and you order boneless chicken it you it 
is reminiscent of McNuggets. Really? Because it's like a thin tempura battered. Okay. McNuggets is basically like a uh, kind of vert tempura somewhere. American there. tempura? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it is like because it's like that uh, batter, batter fried instead of like. Uh, that sounds like a just like a old rock band, American Tempura. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on tour with Nickelback. They do yeah. d- Japanese jazz. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> jazz fusion. <laughs> oh shit. Um, um, oh, uh, Z. Oh, okay. So uh, I was just looking up. I was uh, uh, looking up their mascots. Yeah. Because like, okay, so. Apparently, when they were doing the, they had the Speedy service system, or like before Ray Kroc got involved, they had a mascot named Speedy. Right, and he was like a, uh, like a, pie faced like kind of. Yeah, a chef's hat or something. Yeah, shit yeah. Like that. Um, he almost looked like um, like the moon, like the cartoon moon, you know? Oh, like the okay. With the face, but with a chef hat. Oh, okay, gotcha. Or like a like a Pillsbury Doughboy, mixed with like a flat like a flat face. And then, then they had the Golden Arches as a mascot. Oh, really? In like, 60- like they personified Golden Arches? Yeah. Like, oh, and that was, that was very brief. That. that was very brief because then <laughs> in 1965, they replaced the Golden Arches with a clown, Ronald McDonald. 1965 is when Ronald McDonald came around. Oh, I'm not familiar with Ronald McDonald. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he, I wonder, did he look the same? No, I, I didn't. See, I didn't see that. I've I've seen he's he's looked very similar since the seventies. I didn't know. I didn't see what yeah. he looked like in the early days. And uh, then they had like Grimace and the Hamburglar. Yeah, and um, Mayor McCheese. Mayor McCheese. Yeah. Um, and then there was like I forgot what the little. Um, was there a dog? There was or something? a girl. There was a girl with like pigtails, like a, like yeah. a weird creature girl or something. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I liked Hamburglar. I thought he looked cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he just—he just looked like he worked at Foot Locker, but that was about it, you know. Yeah, yeah. He's like, uh, yeah, hamburger. Like, I feel like if you're gonna steal something, I feel like exclusively steal hamburgers. Oh shit! You know what I forget? I Society forget. should look the other way. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta take a picture and maybe like we could, I could post it in, on our Insta. Is I still have, like, because I do the picking thing on the side. I have a vintage McDonald's glass of Grimace. Oh, cool! From like nineteen seventy one, I think it was. Nice. Yeah, so I got, I got, I got to get a good picture and send it, or, or or just post it on the Instagram when we like lead up to this episode or whatever. But uh, yeah, I always liked Grimace. I think also there was like I went to I went to high school with a dude that reminded me of Grimace. He was built, fucking. He, he was built. He just wasn't purple. He was literally built like Grimace. Like, <laughs> he was he, everything he else. Had a, he had that weird pear shape, and he was like giant. He was like six six or something like that. Wow! And he like walked with a waddle, and, <laughs> like a rock, like a slow yeah, rock. <laughs> yeah, it was like just every time. Every time I saw him, I just I wanted some nuggets. Uh, like it was, just, dude. It was, you want to hear? I went to high school with a legend, uh, a nugget, a McNuggets legend. Really? Um, his name was Billy. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Last name uh, censored. Uh, but <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. He would be proud. He he's an awesome dude. Yeah. Um, but he so um, there was a time back when McDonald's introduced like the twenty box of McNuggets for like five dollars. Yeah. But it was when it was like it first came out. Um, yeah. It was the promotion first started. We were in high school, and this dude Billy w- said to people, um, "I wasn't there when this happened, but um, he said I will go to McDonald's and eat as many." Um, you know McDuggets as I can possibly can if you guys buy them, you oh, know. Shit. And he was the he was the he was a big dude, right? And yeah. he could eat. He was like a professional eater, you know. Uh, not like competitive. Did you censor like, his last name because he's no longer around? Is that what? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Massive no. coronary. Uh, no, I just um, I just don't want to say. Oh it, no, no, but, uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, like I said, he would probably be cool if I did, but uh, I yeah. just don't want to. But anyway, so he went to McDonald's with a group of people and everyone was like, yeah, let's do this. And they went um, and they just kept buying him uh, nuggets and he ate 87 McNuggets. No sauce. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Because I've, I've had 40. Is my You've point. had 40? I've had 40. Were you like hallucinating? Huh? Were you like hallucinating after that? I was just very hungry. Yeah. And I was in the mood. Like I, I had money to go to like a decent place. And I was like, no, they're like five dollars, like for, for twenty piece. And I got, I paid ten dollars, and I even got fries. I even got fries oh, and, yeah. and, a, and, a, and a sweet tea, and I ate forty. 
40 wow. fucking nuggets. I mean, they are lot. tiny. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm trying to think how much I could eat. But he ate them dry? No sauce was, I ate the, the, first 20 was the, dry. the communication back to everybody. Oh, okay. You know? I ate the first 20 dry, and then after a while, I was like, I need some sauce. I feel like you would need sauce to, like, you. Yeah. I feel like you would yourself would dry out because it's so much sauce. I mean, but, I mean, you know me. I'm, I'm a very, like. You're a plain. I'm a condiment-free yeah, guy, guy for the most part. Yeah. yeah. I don't like condoms or condiments. Come on, that was <laughs> stupid. That was dumb. Uh, but, but yeah, I had yeah I had forty, eighty. What was it? Eighty seven. So he just crapped out like a quarter of the way out of one of them. <laughs> yeah, like I guess it was just yeah but, left over. But uh, eighty seven was the number, and wow. I mean, like I don't I don't know anyone who could eat that much. I've I've met a couple of people. In yeah, my life, probably. Uh, do 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 do. Oh man. I didn't know that McDonald's owned certain restaurants for a while. Um, I, I I was looking this up. Which uh, ones did they own? I didn't they know that own, Okay, so um, at, they acquired a bunch of restaurants in the mid-90s. And then uh, as the 90s ended, they started shedding the, those companies they acquired. And here's some of the companies they owned. Aroma Cafe. Um, Aroma uh, Cafe? It's, 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 I think it's like a Midwest chain or something like that. Oh, okay. Uh, Donato's Pizza. I've okay. heard of that. I've never okay. been. They owned Donato's Pizza. Boston Market. Really? They owned Boston Market. They sold that as recently as 2007. Wow. Yeah. I had no idea. And then here's the biggest one. Fucking Chipotle. Mexican Grill. They owned Chipotle? They owned Chipotle until 2006. What? I did not know that. That's nuts. I didn't. I did not know that. Yeah, that was, that was, that was blowing my mind. I'm like, what? Do you Could like it? Chipotle? I'm not the biggest fan. I, I hate I, Chipotle. I, I like Moe's better. If I had to compare yeah. the two, but like. if I had to pick the two, I hate Chipotle. I hate. I think it's because people like it so much, and it's so bland. It's like it's Americanized. Yeah, um, Mexican you're from, food. You're also from San Diego too, so you know, I'm from New York to, originally. But yeah, I live. But I you lived had, like, in San Diego. Mexican. Yeah, yeah. It's I, hard yeah to, experienced authentic Mexican. Yeah, but also yeah, yeah and but it pisses I, me off because Mexican food is so good. Yeah, and people go and they're like Chipotle is awesome, and I'm like, yeah, I'm like just. Um, it just tastes. It's like the subway of Mexican food. Yeah. It's like it's like saying Subway is a good sandwich. That's what if you like Chipotle yeah. and you, you come at me with your Chipotle is good. I, I think it's I think it's because they they try to strive to be like this is Mexican or whatever. Like I have I have a place in Orlando. Uh, it's it's. I think regional. people just like to say Chipotle. I think so. Yeah, yeah. it's like a fun it, word to say. Because it, it, it makes it sound cultured. Or right. Yeah. Like that. Uh, like it's I have spelled a, funny, so you look at it. There's like there's like a uh, uh, localized uh, regional uh, taco burrito place in uh, Orlando. I love, I love it. Uh, it's called Gringos Locos. Oh yeah, I gotta go there. Okay, now I always preface it like if you're if you're thinking it's gonna be like authentic, I don't need authentic Mexican, Mexican. Yeah, it's it. They're, they're, uh, they have a, like a sweet beef that they use oh, for yeah. their, and I love it. I fucking no, I just like. like I, but I every like every time I bring people there, they they just love it. Like once you get out of your mind, and it's not like authentic. No, I love like I I can kind of picture. It's probably like a fun menu, wacky names. Yes, like, they have uh, sex you menu know. names. Yeah, like yeah. Dirty Sanchez mm-hmm. yeah, and yeah. The Mouth Hugger and shit like that. <laughs> Double D's is like their most popular item. Yeah, so it's, it's very fun. The like that. are shaped like tits. Yeah, <laughs> more. What, what it used to be called one night stand, but now it's called like. Uh, morning something. I don't know. Uh, I think there's a one night stand taco place here. Oh, it's oh, one night taco stand. It's uh, luchador themed here. Oh, okay, it's uh, right there on uh, San Jose. Do they have anything to do with each other? No, no, no. no. But it's uh, it's luchador themed. Like the wall murals are like wrestling ring ropes. Oh, okay, cool. And I I remember when that first opened that location down the street. I was like, I gotta go. You yeah, know, just just uh, just so I could sit there with Rey Mysterio in the back. You know, <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> They used oh. to sell luchador uh, masks in Old Town in San Diego. Oh fuck yeah! They just have like and a when there was like a masks. when there like a you said, didn't you say there was like a, a a Mexican restaurant where you wore a luchador mask and you, they you got a discount or something like that? Well, there was one called Lucha Libre that okay. was real popular, and it was and same thing. I had lucha lucha door uh, stuff all over the walls, and then they had like match old matches playing. Oh shit! Uh, okay. They had a really good avocado sauce. And there was like two locations, one, you know, yeah, um, in San Diego. That was good. Uh, I don't know. I never wore a mask in there. He'd probably get shot. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, now they require nowadays. you to wear nowadays a mask. Nowadays you'd be celebrated, but, you know. Now everyone wears a mask. Yeah. So. 
Although I'm starting to see people not wear masks. Oh, I mean, like vaccinated people. Yeah, you talking about you talking about here or there? Uh, we're best judgment. Yeah, here. Like oh, yeah, at this Publix right here. Oh yeah. Well, I'm also we're we're in Florida. Uh, we, well, yeah, we, no, but we I haven't mean, given shit. Since usually July. Like, the year leading up to here, um, when you'd see someone without a mask, they'd have a look about them yeah. that you're like, they're just not wearing a mask because they're they're not into it. Yeah. Um, but there's uh, people with a look about them now. I know exactly. You know, it's weird. You're beating around the bush, but I know exactly what you're talking about. You know what like I mean? There's, yeah, where you can look and at I'm the person. And I'm not trying to make it political by any means. It's just I, like... There's, there's just, you just, for some reason, you, you, know, you can look at a certain person. I just saw a couple of mask list people, and I was yeah. like, and in my head, I go, oh, they're vaccinated. <laughs> I don't know why. No, no, but... You, Am you're I brainwashed? No, you're 100 percent Sometimes you can just look at a person, and not to even get political, but you could tell who they voted for. <laughs> it's or, fucking or, awful. Or like I said that weird. Awful. It's awful. awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe we should, uh, we should incite people politically. <laughs> I'll get yeah. them. I'll get them responding about what their favorite restaurant is or what they like about McDonald's. The oldest operating McDonald's currently standing is in Lakewood Boulevard in Downey, California. It's the oh. oldest operating. Nineteen fifty. If I go out west, like like I like going to those places. I like going to like, <coughs> like oh an original. Yeah, because we, we were we were talking about when we did Chick Fil A. I went to the first Chick Fil A. The first ever Chick Fil A, yeah, the, the Dwarf Grill. I went to that one. You went in through the small um, door and ordered beef. Yep, I ordered. Yeah, if I get ordered uh, steak, yeah, whatever. Um, and then they had like the first Waffle House down there, and oh, I, yeah. I I didn't go to there. I should have because knowing what I know and how many Waffle Houses I've been to. Um, let's see what else we got. Yeah, uh, they huge. They're huge with the endorsements. Yeah, uh, with the sports and um, Michael Jordan. Uh, was I mean around the time from like the Dream Team, you know ninety two like ninety two yeah ninety two ninety six, uh, and then they recently had one with uh, was it Travis Scott rapper Travis Scott oh right so they did like a rapper like it it was like supposed to be his favorite meal or whatever yeah and I thought that's genius that's a genius marketing it is um, it is genius because everyone wants to go and just and it's just the same stuff they had already yeah oh no, no who, what did I say did I say Travis Scott what what name did I say. Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay. Sometimes, I don't know sometimes, I, sometimes I'll think a name and I'll just say another name. Like, I like him the whole drummer. time. I know it's a rapper, but I just picture the drummer from Blink One Eighty Two. Oh yeah, <laughs> Travis Barker. Yeah, yeah. Got the Bang Bang drum. Just picture him eating a quarter pounder. Yeah, it's uh oh shit! I didn't know this. Okay, so it's uh he had a quarter pounder with cheese, bacon, lettuce, pickles, ketchup, and mustard. Uh, but the fries had barbecue sauce on. It. I didn't know that. That's on it? Like, yeah, the fries did. <laughs> just throw it in there? Yeah, I guess just throw it on there. And then uh, Sprite, and then it came with a toy. I think. <laughs> this came with Sprite. It came with a toy. Um, Sp- no one ever, did people ever order Sprite? Do you ever order Sprite? Sprite? I like Sprite like once a year. I hear, I hear, like, I, I, I've, I'm not the biggest Sprite fan. Honestly, I drink a lot of water now. I think, I think yeah. I'm getting older and I, I have a lot of people with health issues in my family and stuff. Yeah. So I try not to eat fast food as often as I used to. So no forty nugget trips and shit like that. <laughs> uh, but uh, there's this thing. There's like a meme that goes around, and it's kind of true. For some reason, if you get a Sprite from McDonald's, it's like it's the acid in it or something. It just it's they call it. They, people say it's spicy. It's almost spicy. It's like it burns. <laughs> it almost burns. Yeah, but like in a weird, good way. Like, a, like you know how you like. Down like I feel like the the Coke at McDonald's. Like they have like, um, you know, it's like delivered in like stainless steel containers or, or kept cold or something. Okay, there's some kind of special process. McDonald's Coke is like uh, better than other places Coke, and it's for some reason. Okay, I believe it's it shipped. It that cold. makes sense though. That makes sense though because. Uh, all fountain drinks, all like sodas have like there's like two two different types of acid in it. Yeah. Like I know like with like a like a Coca Cola, if you take a Coke can, and you put a nail in it overnight, it'll fucking dissolve the fucking nail. Oh wow! Yeah, it's got like a like with with Sprite, it's got like like a citric acid, and there's like the other type of acid, and then with Cokes, it's, it's the same thing. So I'm assuming when you folic. Keep, I don't know. I have no idea. I, have to, I've, I don't know anything. Yeah. It's <laughs> citric acid is something. It's just acid. You, yeah. You, you drink it, you start tripping balls. So maybe the Sprite is like cranked up like the Coke is at McDonald's. Maybe they, you know, maybe there's something to that. Like yeah. maybe they're uh, 
their syrup ratio because there's got to be like a syrup to like carb i guess the yeah. whatever carbonated water and also i guess you said that they ship it as colder like i one thing i know about like acid is if like if the tip like uh if the temperatures are off it del- it like it loses its effectiveness okay so it like if it's like cold it's like deliver like dry ice or some yeah. shit like that i'm assuming that it's like when you when you taste it, it tastes differently than when you're at another place and they they had their formula sitting out hot, in the sun and shit. Yeah, you know? hot Burger King Coke. <laughs> yeah, I uh, the um, what I mean, did you, did you ever get Happy Meals as a kid? Yeah. Oh yeah. Happy Meals. Um, I'd get them today if I could. Dude, I uh, man, my brother used to work at McDonald's. Remember McDonald's breakfast? Like the, um, it was like a platter. I don't still know if have they, it. They, they still, still have, have it. it. Like and here's why I know. It. Here's why like I know it. is my that's when my mom gets breakfast from McDonald's. That's what she gets. Oh, they dude. call it the big breakfast. Oh, that the is big amazing. Breakfast. I didn't and know it, they like, still had it. I thought yeah, it did my away. my grandpa was a piece of shit. Uh, but <laughs> he he would like he was that person. He, there was no emotions. <laughs> Any anything. They're just not emotional. <laughs> he was not. He was not. He he would he would take us to breakfast, but he didn't say a word. Didn't ask us how our day was. He was just a very emotionless person. Did he pay? Huh. Yeah, he paid. I mean, but we were eight, so like, it's yeah. not like we were gonna pay. But like, he that's that's like my only decent fond memory of that jackass was like going to McDonald's and then he like I'll tell you what I want. You know, he was like he was a Filipino dude. And he like barely spoke English. Oh, okay, weird. he was just very just bad. I, I always referred to him as the artist formerly known as Grandpa <laughs> because I found out that he was. He was still he was married to a woman in the Philippines. So his marriage oh, to my grandma double like, family. Yeah. There's just, just so much uh, un, so much to unpack on this episode and I'm not yeah. going to get into it but but I have that's my only fond memory of my grandpa of 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 uh, was we would go to me take us Big to McDonald's breakfast. take us to McDonald's and he, we he was like Get what you want, you know. And then we, I would get the big breakfast, and it was the one with the biscuit. It came with a biscuit and a hash brown. Oh, yeah, see, I grew up in New York. I don't think we had biscuits. Yeah, there was there was two I'm different. Sure. There was two different ones. There was like a deluxe big breakfast, and then there was a uh, hot cakes and sausage. Yeah. So hot That's cakes. That's the one I so- remember. Yeah, hot cakes and sausage it was just hot cakes and a little sausage patty. Yeah. But then there was the the, the big breakfast, and it was hot cakes and sausage. Scrambled eggs, a biscuit, and a hash brown. Okay, that's what I would get, but yeah. I don't recall a biscuit. Well, it might be a southern thing. I don't know. Yeah, uh, they probably didn't. They just um, said like. And McDonald's breakfast ha- is dope. Like honestly, the number one breakfast for the fast food chains for me is Chick Fil A. Yeah, but the, not too the far behind biscuit, would probably be sausage, biscuit, egg and cheese. Oh, sausage, egg and cheese, biscuit. Yeah, yeah. And then the, the chicken mini. And, oh, fan. but I think McDonald's. I'm trying to think of other fast food places. Breakfast, Burger King's not bad. The croissant, which is pretty good, but I recently had Wendy's and it was disappointing. I haven't had theirs yet, so I can't say. Yeah. I ha- oh, I'm a little bummed to hear that, but because I've heard good things. It's probably supposedly. good. It's probably good. I just I think I waited a really long time and I was angry and oh, I got okay, home gotcha. and it was like, um, it's so good. It's fast food. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like anything. Their McDonald's has these little breakfast burritos. They're, yeah, they're cheap like ass sausage like, or something. Yeah, like sauces balls. And yeah, stuff. they're cheap as shit. They used but, to have like a hot sauce packet that was good that would go with those, oh, or I like a salsa it. picante or something. Yeah, I never ate it. You know, I mean sauces. Yeah. Also, when I anytime I ordered the burritos, I was eating in the car, so I was trying to do uh, mitigate mess as much as possible. Oh, nice. So I would just literally like deep throat fucking <laughs> burritos. Yeah. Um, but my favorite thing of uh, theirs uh, breakfast is the McGriddles. Oh have yeah, you had the McGriddle. Uh, yeah, I have. Uh, I like the McGriddle. It's uh, it's got like it's like a, a a pancake roll, right? It's 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 basically it's a uh, it's a sandwich, but the 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 bread is two pancakes with syrup already entrenched in the pancake. Yeah, and it's like perfectly done. It's like and then so it's, and like, it, it's like a sweet and savory. Yeah, She's because like, it's like I I would get the sausage egg and cheese McGriddle. So it'd be a sausage patty and then the folded egg with the cheese and their cheese stayed on the sandwich. Fuck you, Chick Fil A, with your little fucking tricks, whatever that you're doing. Yeah, uh, but their their cheese would stay on the sandwich and then you would eat it and it would just be like, oh, this is perfect. It's perfect. Fun fact <clears throat> about McDonald's breakfasts: um, if you order a McDonald's breakfast and your egg is round, it's a real egg. 
Real egg. Yeah, Cracked. egg McMuffin. Yeah, and the reason why I know that, my brother used to work at McDonald's. Okay. For, uh, for a couple of years while he was in high school. And he always came home and he always smelled like fucking onions. <laughs> Those dehydrated onions, he always smelled like that. Um, but yeah, the... The folded egg is basically like egg beaters type of egg, like okay. the, where you open up a carton and pour it in yeah, or something. Yeah. And the round egg is literally a cracked egg in a little yeah, a little, 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 thing. little tin thing. And they, you know, and so uh, what I would do, and I found this out, you can also, I think you can do this any place. Cause I've done it at Chick Fil A too. Um, you can ask for like uh, special requests to the breakfast items. So I've had, I've asked for a uh, McGriddle. Without the folded egg, but a real egg, like oh. an egg muffin egg, fucking game changer. Wow, fucking you heard it here first. Game changer. Yeah. To order the McGriddle and say I want it Marcus Crespo style. Marcus Crespo stuff. <laughs> real <laughs> animal style. Up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the uh, also uh, man, man, who's I. I, I'm surprised we haven't. I, I guess we had a bad experience with the Burger King, so we didn't get into a lot of this stuff. But like, um, you, you could also like, like a Chick Fil A. You could special request instead of a biscuit, you could put it on their bun, oh, the breakfast sandwich yeah, on the yeah. bun. Uh, but yeah, that's not a bad idea. I I remember I have a distinct memory of doing a show in like Lakeland and coming through a uh, De- Daytona uh, McDonald's that was open twenty four seven, and I ordered two McRiddles and I specifically requested the cracked egg on there and they were like the person uh working the drive through was like oh good idea <laughs> that's awesome like you can tell that like, when their lunch break they're kicked like, around oh, yeah they're... yeah this is what i'm gonna do oh yeah good. yeah I, I remember, <laughs> and I, I remember getting so filled with joy when they did the all day breakfast yeah you know um, yeah they switched that up because that that used to be a big that was like a plot point in uh uh, Big Daddy. Big Daddy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the end, of, yeah. So that was not, that was a good idea to open. I'm surprised it took them that long to. Yeah, but it, when they pulled it back though, with COVID, COVID kind of messed things up. They went back. Oh, to, they went back to mm-hmm. regular. Oh, okay, yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, I don't. I I think you could get it at early hours, like yeah, earlier hours, but yeah. it's not 24 seven. Yeah, this is a bummer. Um, have you have you used the McDonald's app? No. Okay, no, I haven't used any any of the fast food. I, well, I'm, that's a lie. I've used the Wendy's one, and I think I used the Burger King once. Dude, the McDonald's app will try to kill you. Oh, really? I'm I like I'm I deleted it from my phone. Oh, Jesus! Because I I downloaded it, and first of all, it's it works really well. I will say that like it's for an app, it's very user friendly. Yeah, it's easy, and it works great. But you'll. When you go to the re- like, I'm f- vaguely familiar with McDonald's prices, um, but on there it's like the promotions are so good that you it, you it'll be like two double cheeseburgers and it's like a uh, dollar ninety nine. <laughs> You're like, oh, what? Sh- what the fuck? You're like, no. You're like two dollars for it's like eight hundred calories of like burger, you know. Or whatever it is, I don't know what it is, but Ooh, um, uh, it's man. just a lot. But it's like yeah. too much food for too little. Yeah, and I'm like, this is a f-, like yeah. because I'm gonna go to get lunch somewhere and anywhere, everywhere you go to get lunch. Like if you go and sit somewhere, it's like you're spending ten dollars or so, you know? Yeah, with a tip and everything, and um, so yeah, if you could eat like if you get full for two dollars, that's dangerous because yeah. it's not good. I used to, I, I were, when I lived in Orlando. Uh, uh, there was a I had a I had a McDonald's literally like walking distance. Oh, that's yeah, that's that dangerous was so too. Dangerous, so so dangerous. I, I had McDonald's all the time. Yeah, and they were they were like for for McDonald's they were really fast. Uh, yeah. Usually McDonald's is like t- they take forever. Some of them are run really like some are yeah. run definitely better than others. Like you yeah. could tell a good, you know, be like oh this is a good McDonald's and. Did you ever? Did you ever uh, speaking of, like the kids meals? Uh, I know during the nineties. Uh, the kids meals like the like the toys they offered that shit got wild like it became like a real big collectible type thing yeah like i remember when my brother worked there uh the beanie babies were oh, released yeah. beanie babies. and i still have i still the princess have, diana beanie baby <laughs> yeah i have a, like uh, do you remember when jimmy kimmel did uh carl malone talking about beanie babies no you don't no i don't remember that at all okay well if anybody's listening um <laughs> YouTube, uh, Jimmy Kimmel, Carl Malone, Beanie Babies. He probably wouldn't appreciate m- me saying this. Oh, God. He probably would rather forget this clip. Yeah. I don't... I, it's funny. 
It's just him Im- imitating Carl Malone, who is like a real like monotone yeah. basketball player. Yeah, for the Jazz. Yeah, for the Jazz. Uh, the mailman. Uh, and he- AKA WCW wrestler. He wrestled for a little bit too. Did he? Yeah, he did. Oh wow, I didn't know yeah, that. It was uh, der- okay. That's not to deviate too far. No, it's wrestling tangent. Yeah, yeah. It is. T- I don't know. I you know I'm familiar, but you know. So okay, I yeah, I am a wrestling nerd. Sadly. I like to pick up. Okay, so uh, in the uh, late '90s. Um, in WCW, WCW and WWE were like uh, competing real, ho- real hard. Yeah, and so uh, there was a faction in WCW called the NWO, and this yes. was and it consisted of Hulk Hogan. When yes. he turned bad, he turned heel. Yeah, right. And he, Sting, uh, no, Sting was a good guy that, yeah. at that particular time. So the uh, Hulk Hogan was feuding with a wrestler named Diamond, St- Diamond Dallas Page, who yeah. does DDP yoga. Yes, yeah. I have so it on they my were feud- they were feuding with each other. And uh, Hulk Hogan aligned himself with fucking um, Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman. Wow. Of North fucking Korea. Worm. The worm was in was in WCW. And DDP aligned himself with Carl Malone. And they had a match at uh, uh, an event called Starcade. Yeah. Oh. And it was, it was Hulk Hogan and Dennis Rodman versus Diamond Dallas Page and Carl Malone. And so uh, so majority of the match was like Hogan... Hogan and like DDP, like the actual wrestlers taking the bumps and punches and shit like that. Yeah. And then doing a hot tag. That's what they call it when like, like the other guys like, come on, bring me in, bring me in. And then they tag him and the, the audience loses their shit. Oh yeah. You know? And then, and then it would be like Dennis Rodman and Carl Malone throwing a couple punches and the people were like, wow, he's a legit wrestler. You know? <laughs> and so, yeah. So that was uh, like, anytime I hear Carl Malone, I don't think of any of this other stuff. I think of fucking him doing a, uh, the menu, the move is called a diamond cutter. Yeah, so it would be like, <clears throat> it'd be like he takes like the throat of the person and then like leaps. Like, oh, that's right. Like yeah, it, yeah. It, and he, I think he did it on Hogan and he won the match or something like that. Mm. Yeah, I Some like sh- Diamond Dallas Page. He seems like a good dude. He's he's a really good dude. He's uh, he's definitely helped a lot of wrestlers because a lot of wrestlers. He took have, in uh, Jake Roberts, Jake Roberts, and Scott Hall. Yeah. Scott Hall helping them with like uh, drug addiction. Right? Yeah, both of those guys are huge. They're they're uh, Scott Hall is like six five. Yeah, and uh, Razor Ramon. Yeah, Razor Ramon's like six five six six. Razor and uh, Jake Roberts is Ramon. six five six six. <laughs> and so years and years of, of damage and like fucking pain pills and yeah, their schedule is nuts. Yeah, they wrestle like three hundred and twenty days a year. Like they it's they have insane. like a month off in total. Like the whole in year. total. Yeah. The wrestling that like could you imagine what that does to your body? And also, I did a comedy show in an old style wrestling ring from from the early uh, from the late eighties uh, from yeah. the WWE, the framework. And I took a bump. I, I jumped from the middle rope to the middle of the ring into and like did an elbow drop, like a standard elbow drop. Mm-hmm. And I was sore for like six days. And I was like, no wonder these guys died at thirty six. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah, it was insane. Or their wives in Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a weird fact. Uh, I just, I just was like, while we were doing that, I was, I was uh, flipping through some like screenshots I've taken. Uh, fast, uh, McDonald's is the largest private operator of playgrounds in the U.S. Oh, what the fuck? The McPlay place, right? Yeah, the the largest operator and the single largest purchaser of beef, pork, potatoes, and apples. Pork. Yeah. Wow. What for? I guess for sausage. I don't. I don't know. I don't even know the. No bacon. No. Would bacon they? Would sausage? they consider pork? Uh, would it? Uh, I know uh, with their uh, the uh, the McRib. No, well McRib, um, and then their uh, the breakfast sandwich. They said the uh, what's it called? Not a McRiddle, but the. Um, Fuck, I'm t- I sound like an old man now. You know, what's that thing? The thing that... Yeah. Um, the Egg McMuffin. The Egg McMuffin comes with Canadian bacon. Okay. Slice on it. If you get... If you so get I guess a, that Canadian bacon, sausage, and ba- and regular bacon for, like, burgers. I guess, for, I guess that would consider the pork. They would consider yeah. that pork, I guess. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, they're all pork. I never even thought about that. That's insane. And then... Uh, and then and, apples uh, and potatoes. I knew potatoes, they, like, order, like, a certain kind of potato, right? Yeah. It's a specific... Yeah, for their fries and stuff yeah. like that. Um, and then uh, in other countries, though, the the meat selection varies. So I wonder what, like... Oh, like, I know... Based on what is available. So you beef, know. you know, beef is big in the U.S., but internationally, lamb is the the number one meat really? in the world. 
That makes sense. Um, I guess. So then I guess they probably have lamb certain places and then be less beef. I don't know. I guess it's it's regionally. I get. I'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I still think about the beanie. Babies. I like looking up the weird ones, like in like Japan or like certain countries will have like weird. They had like a black bun at McDonald's. Like it was a burger. It was like promoting Star Wars or something. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. They, it was the bun was dyed black. Yeah. Oh man, I I, I I wouldn't even want to look in the toilet after you took a shit. You're like, I'm dying, I'm dying. Pancreatic cancer. So they've done a lot of partnerships. Um, they have the they're the sponsor of the McDonald's All American Game. I don't know if you're familiar with that. The, it's it's like the top high school. Oh, the but yeah, basketball. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the top, top. Uh, high school players in the nation. Uh, they were they they were the main sponsor for like USA Basketball Pro. Uh huh. Um, they also have uh. NASCAR, they're involved in NASCAR. And uh, another aspect that I didn't know about this, uh, McDonald's and NASA explored an advertisement agreement for a planned mission for, get this, <laughs> an asteroid named 449 Hamburger. <laughs> no way. I'm not shitting you. <laughs> this is, this, it was an, there's an asteroid named 449 Hamburger. That is clearly... Does McDonald's. it have like a little McDonald's flag hanging off the back? Like, yeah. <laughs> I, all I can think of it, I was like, uh, uh, Armageddon 2, you know? That's when you know you're making too much money. <laughs> like, that's, that yeah. real estate plan worked too much. Like, we got to write some of this shit we're off. Not even, we're not even going to, like, find a star in a star registry. Yeah. You know? No, we're going to find an asteroid. It's just moving. No one can see it. They're just... They, hamburger. They, hamburger. And uh, however the spacecraft was eventually... Imagine that's the one like, that hits Earth and destroys... <laughs> Destroy civilization. Morgan you know? Spurlock from yeah. Super Size. He's like, I told you. <laughs> He's like the Charleston Heston. Yeah, yeah. You damn dirty apes. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, this is this is this is interesting. I I mentioned this to you before we started recording. Uh, so uh, in Hong Kong, Japan, and China, they have a lot of, uh, I guess. Travelers. Some of them are homeless. Some of them are just travelers, oh. and they have a lot of twenty-four hour restaurants. And apparently, uh, people s- like sleep in them. They s- they sleep sleep in, in McDonald's. They sleep in these twenty-four hour McDonald's in the in the ball pit. I, yeah, probably. Yeah. I feel like that would be the most comfortable yeah, place, it, or in the little tunnel system. You know, <laughs> the, the little, yeah. just halfway down, like your curl. Are you like, comfortable in there? Like, <laughs> my dad was Viet Cong. Um, <laughs> Jesus, that was terrible. <laughs> uh, but they're called McRefugees. Oh, the people who sleep in them? McRefugees? Yeah. They refer to them as McRefugees. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... Uh, I don't know. That's, that's funny. McRe- <laughs> it's weird because it's like you... It's not very big, you know? It's not like you can just hide. Yeah. Like, people do that in an airport. I could see you getting away with it in an airport. Yeah. That's... Uh, They'd be hitting you with, like, sweeping you out with a broom in McDonald's. I, I was trying to see... I'm trying to see how, like... Okay, sixty-eight million customers a day get served. served sixty-eight million a day. a day. Wow. A day. I'm trying to see how much money they. I think I saw something along the lines of they make like forty thousand. Oh no, forty million dollars a day at the restaurants. Wow. Or something like that. Um, and then I was trying to see. I, the, I, the the numbers were confusing the way they had it set up. I was trying to see how much each restaurant makes because I, I think we talked about it with. I'm wanting to say uh, uh, Chick Fil A. Oh yeah, like average sales. Yeah, per average restaurant. sales per restaurant. Yeah, yeah. which Chick Fil A is higher than the rest, right? Yeah, that's what we talked. Yeah, only oh, 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 second only to McDonald's. Oh okay. Yeah, just I mean just a sheer numbers game. Yeah. Um, do you have any you have any experiences any interesting experiences at McDonald's? I have quite a few. Um, I well, first of all, I noticed that online. Um, I'd say 95% of fight videos that happen in a fast food place occur in McDonald's. Yeah. For some reason. And of that 95%, 92% involve an employee of of usually of rank, like a manager. And they just come out and just start wailing on people. You you know, either that or it's just like a uh, just a bunch of kids and they're just wrecking a restaurant, which is uh, that's always fun to watch. But um, so personally, no, I uh, I grew up going to McDonald's, and then I feel like I stopped for like many many years, um, and not really like consci- like for any particular reason. And uh, I don't know. You start. Let me think. Let me think about it. 
Okay. Well, I got a couple. I mean, I got like just where I almost fought an employee. Oh, they were rude. so you were like someone in the video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I, was, the, I was waiting to get world you're starred. You're statistic. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting to be ready to get world starred. Uh, that's happened a couple times where I was just like, I had to basically firmly tell the employee, you may be looking at me and you, you, you see what you think is a pushover, but you're messing with the wrong one is what I would usually firmly tell them. Yeah. Um, and it never went any further, surprisingly. I don't know. Uh, but... I've I've I experienced several medical emergencies. Not me personally. Like go to McDonald's and then oh, someone, witnessed. Yeah, it, it always happens in the bathroom. Someone fucking passes out. Like four. Like at this point now, I'm probably gonna say at least seven medical emergencies any uh, through all my times at McDonald's. Most of them were seizures. Uh, one of them was a heart attack. Like fucking yeah, I'm gonna take a piss and then now I'm doing triage on a guy. Like what the fuck. <laughs> Um, they all then, ordered the big breakfast deluxe. And then ironically, one of the craziest experiences um, was, well, there was one where I saw a dude pull a gun on somebody in the drive through Oh, at the, at a McDonald's near where I live at. And then recently at uh, near CBD, the McDonald's near CBD, a dude was a stabbed stab, to death. Stabbing. Yeah. Stabbed to death. And then they closed it for a day and then they resumed business. <laughs> That's Ray awesome. Kroc would be so proud. He would. He would be proud. He'd, He'd be like, "I'll put, I'll get the hose if you I'll don't get, open back up." <laughs> he closed this McDonald's. I'll, I'll I'll put the I'll put the hose down his gullet. Um, <laughs> man, Ray Kroc, that's awesome. So yeah, he's got to be proud. Um, well, he's dead. But yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I think he would be proud of where it his, is. His bones are smiling. <laughs> Profits. Yeah, yeah. They had um. They struggled for a while. I know from I invested in McDonald's for a, a couple of years ago, and then it's since sold the stock. But um, well, they took a hit in the I wouldn't say like early two thousands, right after yeah. the whole Super Size Me. Yeah, and they struggled for a long time, and they kept going through different CEOs, and yeah, and um, then they kept changing their menu to be more of health friendly. Yeah. Remember, they offer like, do they still offer salads? I think so, yeah. Okay, I remember they started. They did off Mighty and... Wings, which failed. Yeah, they um, did Mighty Wings. I remember. I remember though before they get this before Super Size Me like like pull them like break them open to coals. I remember they were just like Super Size, like Super Size everything, and they even had what they called the Mighty Kids Meal. <laughs> Do you remember that? No. Oh fuck yeah! Like, yeah make I your kids fat. <laughs> oh dude, because I because at the time my my little cousin my little cousin was like fucking like. Uh, uh, garbage disposal and w- like it got expensive buying like adult value meals so they came out with the mighty kids meal it was basically like a kids meal but instead of the baby chicken nuggets you got a full size chicken nuggets instead of like oh, a, like so a just... little a kid's sandwich you got uh, uh, like a quarter pound yeah just like a regular combo basically but it was like kind of kids kids priced Whatever, yeah. where you get a mighty kids meal. It's like, I'm not a like baby. A character on the outside, but it came with a toy too, so it it was it was appropriate. Yeah, for it's a better, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like your adult self is like, man, yeah, dude, I want a toy. <laughs> That's like one of my favorite things is when I do my picking stuff is go into like the little uh, they have like little toy bins, yeah, and then pick and find like old McDonald's toys. Uh, I saw the um, for sale on like. A local thing, it was like Facebook or whatever, and it was McDonald's. The it was like the Transformers. Uh, like oh, the but there hamburger. was this, this, yeah, there was like the, the hamburger, fries. the nugget, the fry. Yeah, yeah and they yeah. would transform into like a car or something. Yeah, or they what? Were, something. They were, they were pretty popular. Um, yeah, uh, so it was another one. And I remember it was the, nostalgic. I had the. Was it the Moon one. guy? The Moon guy wasn't that McDonald's? I think so. Yeah, I always thought it was Hardee's for some reason, but it, the I, I think it was McDonald's. Yeah, they had. Um, he's like in a he's like in an all black suit, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah that was. It's like very like Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, Jack Skellington before he was. There. Well, um, we mentioned in the beginning of the episode, but I'll I'll tell you the story of it. Uh, the uh, theme song. Ba da ba ba ba. Yeah, I'm loving it. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm yeah. loving it. So McDonald's hired a like a German advertising group to come up with. They wanted to come up with a jingle, and. They did this trick where uh, they the German advertising company hired uh, Justin Timberlake and I want to say like uh, Pharrell or it, I don't know yeah or, or it made maybe it was just Justin Timberlake and someone else but they basically hired them to create a song and they released it 
and it was like this very generic sounding song but within the song is the hook of the song is ba da ba 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 and then they took that oh wow and then they just clipped that hook and then put it in the McDonald's campaign so it that ba da ba 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 is an existing song already you could you could look it up yeah and it's this like very generic kind of like late 90s they just kind of put it together yeah Yeah. it was like sounds like it's just a nothing song you know but just within the chorus of it you just hear it and it like hits you and you're like oh they were they were basically they were on the lam for pharrell and and justin timberlake like i don't know if it was pharrell it's definitely justin timberlake because he's the one who actually that's his vocals oh but i i thought someone else was also probably some involved some other high power producer yeah someone and they're like well we paid $100,000, $100,000, so we better release it. Yeah. And, but, yeah. man, how it, like, that is, that's catch, they, they that got is their, catch they got, everybody. It's paid dividends, though, because oh I mean, my that's God, yeah. very significant, you know. Yeah, that's like, I mean, you could hum that and people know what you're talking about. Yeah, and then I'm I'm loving it. That's Yeah, a, I'm loving it, yeah. Such a generic quote that's somehow so fucking catchy. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's genius. You it's know, like it, Coke putting the names on the bottles oh the yeah that was, that shit was genius too that was genius I or like remember. choose happiness you know whatever it's like just, just bland generic you know yeah but uh yeah i'm loving it that's it's it is really like such a plain but effective quote yeah we um oh and then there's mc uh, mcrib you like the mcrib i've never had one are you fucking kidding me every time every time even recently like that you know there's a mcdonald's right up the road here yeah. and it said like the mcrib is back it's messy and, as fuck it's, it's messy, like oh it, messy. Yeah, it's totally messy. Does you, it taste like ribs or does it taste like a burger with barbecue sauce on it? Because that's what you I. You never had any form of a like a ribs riblet sandwich or anything like that. I have you never got I've one taken from like, like a like ribs a, from a barbecue place or like that I've made and I've ripped it apart and put it on bread. Uh, I, I keep forgetting you're like a uh, almost like a Yelp reviewer level bougie when it comes to food. <laughs> I like to cook. Cause I, yeah, because I, I, I've, I've, I think, I think it's also because I've worked so many like, fucking shit jobs where like, yeah, like I had no access to any food, so there was like vending machines. I like oh, okay. in the vending machines, I think it's like cold vending machines. They offer like generic McRib <laughs> shit. It's literally just this a, brings contrast to our show, though. Yeah, you yeah, know? oh yeah, yeah. Your 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 uh, your uh, palate is uh, definitely way more refined than mine. Uh, to some extent, to some extent, I know. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say it's probably area to area, you know. But yeah. so I've never. I want to try a McRib. I'm not against it. I just yeah. I've never had one. And but every time they come out, because it's like seasonal. It's just, yeah, whatever, seasonal. Yeah. And I drive by and I'm like, I want to. I want to go try it. I was really close this past time. Yeah. When I was here. Yeah. So it comes on like a hoagie roll type thing. Yeah, it's long, it, right? Yeah, it's a lo- long sandwich. It comes in a little box. And then uh, it's got barbecue sauce. And usually they, they fucking and like, pickles and onions. Pickles right? and onions. I never. I get it without that. I just you know I'm a simple yeah. man with simple tastes. I'm uh, a simple kind of man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, Mama told me <laughs> the McRib is back. <laughs> <laughs> no pickles and onions. <laughs> <laughs> this is like crack. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. And uh, but yeah. I would. You know. It's kind of expensive. It's like almost five bucks. Or just for the sandwich? Just for the sandwich. Wow. Yeah. I want so t- talk to me about the meat portion. Does it taste like rib meat or does it taste like does it have the consistency of a burger? It's it's kind of a mixture. It's like tougher it, than a burger? It, no, it's, no, it's softer than a burger. It's it's like a it's almost like um You had a Bubba burger? Like yeah, the, the, I got them soft. In the freezer right it's not now. as good as that, but like the the, the texture and the softness. Of yeah, it. yeah. And then, um, but it's it's got like shout barbecue. out Bubba Burgers. Yeah, shout out Bubba Burger. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's like it's like it's got that type of texture and taste. Yeah, uh, but the but the well not uh, not the taste, but like the texture and the, like the the uh, the softness of, of comparably to like the regular burger patties. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you know it tastes like rib meat though. Okay. Ribby with barbecue sauce. I'm yeah. gonna try one. Yeah. I got. I can't not. It's ever definitely. Try it's definitely a, not. It's, I mean, it's. It's. It's just you. You. You either like them or you don't. Uh, you try it once, or whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, at this point, though, I when I was younger, I used to be real into them. Like, I'd get like two at a time, you know. Okay. Two McRibs and stuff, but they're just so expensive. And plus, now I've been to a million vending machines, or every gas station has a a, 
a rib sandwich they call it. Yeah, and it's basically just like a like a pork shape uh, a, a pork fritter that's shaped like rib meat. Yeah, and with yeah, like really. fake striations and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what what the McRib is. So if you smoke your if you make your own ribs like in the oven or like on a smoker. Yeah, which like I'll take I'll do that and then I'll take the bones. You just pull the bones right out. Yeah. Um, and you don't cut the ribs, so it. Uh, that's pretty much what it is, and it makes what a McRib is supposed to be. Yeah, you know, and what then, a McRib. If the McRib took a super soldier serum like uh, <laughs> Captain America, and that's what it became, it's like Wolverine, like yeah, if a McRib took Viagra, if he put or, adamantium and yeah, in, uh, exactly, in indestructible ribs. deliciousness. That's the nerdiest thing I know. Yeah, adamantium. Got, is yeah, that right? Yeah, it's, you said it really good. Like like smoking like a true dork. <laughs> 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 no, we all got our own nerd things. I'm a super nerd for someone who's uh, oh, dude, I'm a big nerd, but it's just yeah, not comic book stuff. But I'm a nerd in other ways. Yeah. I mean, honestly, nerd is the new jock, man. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's almost they like it's almost like a way to... it's almost like sh- uh, like almost like bad to be a jock, right? Yeah, they, you're dumb. They... You're you're just angry and toxic. Smart critter. people figured out a way to make like uh, make... Call, they call it revenge. They, to yeah. make, to make, it's like uh, revenge of the nerds came true. You know? Yeah, seriously, it's yeah. minus the rape stuff. Uh, yeah. There's... yeah. <laughs> Minus the yeah. 80s. Loose. I watched that recently. I was like, oh, shit. I, I forgot about that part. That <laughs> I love was... Porky's. They're just like drilling holes in like the locker yeah. room walls. Oh, yeah. Getting tug jobs. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Jesus Christ. That would not fly now. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't be able to. Back then, they were just having fun. Ba-da-da-da-da. They were loving it. <laughs> <laughs> Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. First degree felony. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, But, yeah, so McDonald's has been... Uh, on top, I don't know if they'll ever be dethroned fast food wise. You know, they they don't grow very fast, um, but there's still room to go into other countries. And yeah, I know they are international. Like yeah, you said, I, but honestly, it, I I think I had a, I had a buddy that lived in uh, China for a little bit, and he didn't like Chinese cuisine. He didn't like the local fare. Yeah, and like for him, it was like almost like a little fast food American embassy. Oh. He, he went to McDonald's and like. I, I've heard that from other people like they'll try the local stuff and it's cool. But then they they're like, I need to go. I got to find a McDonald's or some form of American fast food. Yeah. And McDonald's is the most prevalent one. And it's like little, little embassies, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like a little embassy. A bunch so, of expats. Like, yeah. Like McRefugees, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they just so, want to sleep there. So that's like so in wild America. <laughs> I've been to the so, supposedly the largest McDonald's. It's Where in, it's in Orlando, Florida. Oh, Orlando's got course. the Orlando's got the largest checkers, the largest now the largest White Castle. Yeah, and now uh, they had the largest uh, McDonald's. It's three stories. Damn, it's three stories. It has a fucking bi- mini bowling alley, a whole full arcade. They serve like other stuff there. They serve like um, like spaghetti and pizza and shit. Oh like that. yeah, I heard about yeah. McDonald's pizza. Yeah, I would it, love to order that. Just everything's to see everything's what way more expensive than it should be because it's just a tourist trap, oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But it's just fun. You get to go to the, the you know, like the whole the whole top floor is literally just like a play a play area. It's almost like a Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, cool. Or like a like a Dave and Buster's or yeah. something like that. It's pretty neat. I don't know. Big fountain and stuff. It's, it's I mean, yeah, it is what it is. It's like re- like right around the corner from Hulk Hogan's beat shop and <laughs> like the whole area is just like sensory overload, you know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that, that's supposedly the largest McDonald's in the, in the world. Supposedly, we got to um, whenever we're in Orlando. Yeah. After we go to Gringos, we we got to go to. Yeah, we got to hit one of those. At least the White and, Ca- well, White Castle is probably so busy. Well, I mean, depends depends on where we go. Yeah. But uh, th- that that trip also sounds like we're gonna have to stop at a rest stop after we sh- almost oh share our stuff. Yeah. The Gringos and the. McDonald's and the drive with the, white the windows down. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna be fumigating each other, dude. <laughs> the following episode is brought to you by crop crop testing. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, um, yeah. Well, um, uh, what are we doing on time? Yeah. Good. One fifteen. One fifteen. The um. Oh, uh, so are we? Are we doing the? Are we doing a bracket thing or no? I don't know. I do. I don't know if we should do a bracket or um, create our own fast food restaurant. Oh shit! Yeah, actually, I mean, so we did a completely different episode. If we tell into this, yeah, I think that would be funny. Uh, yeah, we could just like uh, come up with our own 
pitch our own fast food place idea. Yeah. Honestly, or if you want, if you could, this 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 might be make it quicker. Uh, if you could Frankenstein the breakfast of one fast food, the lunch of another fast food, and like the dinner of another, what would you? How would you Frankenstein it? Hmm. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I and I also know that some of the fast food places, what they serve for lunch is also what they serve for dinner. I'm aware of that. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, McDonald's breakfast. Okay. Uh, Chick Fil A lunch. Okay. Uh, Wendy's dinner. Ooh, interesting. Okay. No wait, we we no no good. Me... No wait. Uh, we covered uh, In and Out, right? Yeah. So it's all the ones we covered. Yeah, all the ones we covered. Okay, now I got. There's some other. We talked about other ones too. Like I mean, we didn't cover them, but we talked about let's say Arby's or some shit like that. Oh yeah, and like uh, uh, Popeyes. Ooh, Fuck. ooh, that's I forgot game. about Popeyes. Fuck, that's I said Chick Fil A. Yeah, I might have to go. Uh, I okay, so yeah. uh, uh, Chick Fil A breakfast. Um, Popeyes lunch. In and out dinner, um, and then uh, what? What is that? Dessert? Do we have to pick a dessert, or is that? Or just you could do, lunch, you could dinner? do, you could do, you could do anything like it, it, other, some other intangible Chick-fil-A meal. Chick Fil A breakfast, uh, okay. Popeyes lunch, okay. Uh, In and out dinner, okay. Um, and then I don't know about dessert. Wendy's dessert, you got a frosty. <laughs> Yeah, who is the who is the best dessert? I don't oh, know. Honestly, my personal opinion on the dessert, make uh Burger King carries these little Hershey Sunday pies. Okay. They're fucking great. They're amazing. I I'm not familiar. Yeah. So, uh, this 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 is how I do it. I would do Chick-fil-A breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on totally on board. Uh I would do I would do Wendy's lunch. Yeah. Popeye's dinner. Mm. And then Taco Bell fourth meal. <laughs> <laughs> and then Burger King, Burger King would probably be uh, their dessert. I think Taco Bell is the base, the best late night food out of all those. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's 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 like it's weird. It's it's like complete dog shit. But oh yeah, you but you don't you know and you don't care. Yeah. And honestly, most people that get it at that particular time, they're You're higher, fucking yeah. drunk. Yeah. And it just tastes like it tastes like God's giving you a high five. I love how like. The last couple of the last like two times I've had Taco Bell, yeah, it just like completely falls apart when I eat it. Like, oh shit! I try to eat it in my car, and yeah. it's just like it just explodes on. Me. <laughs> oh I'm man! I'm still finding cheese every once in a that's while. It's just like little dry piece of. Well, I, that's good. I mean, I feel like those. That's a good lineup. Let yeah. us know what your lineup would be. Uh, breakfast, yeah, we'll lunch, definitely dinner. Wanna, yeah, yeah. We can customize all the ones we covered. What's your, what's your, what's the, the the our fan. We we have two we fools? have two we have two fools two fools, um, <laughs> uh, so I I have my friend Joan she Joan is, yeah Joan's a listener Joan's a listener yeah. Adam Def- probably shouldn't say his last name so oh yeah yeah Adam. yeah <laughs> yeah I'll cut it no, but uh but yeah Adam uh, Adam and Joan if you're listening I think my parents listen oh right on yeah yeah definitely anyone who, that's anyone, all four of them anyone's yeah anyone's listening. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's a couple people listened to a couple of episodes, but like anyone's listening, and we're, we'll I'll do I'll do something on in, the Insta stuff with it as well to see if they, if cause I did a poll for my other page and it, I actually I was surprised when people actually chimed in. It's yeah, interesting. But I definitely want to know, and I'll I'll, t- I'll try cross promote it with my like my actual like Crespo Marcus Crespo Insta. Yeah, just to try to get like because I really want to know what people would would. I know I'd be curious pair. to see what they would pick. Yeah, that's a good. That's a solid. Um, that's a fun thing. It's a to fun think question. About. Yeah, you know. So, uh, I, I I have a feeling I I have some friends that are vegans that are just gonna be like, Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Taco Bell. Bell. Oh, Burger King's got a, a, a impossible, impossible Whopper. Yeah, yeah. But so. they make it on the same grill as the meat. Uh Burger King. Man, wah, wah, wah. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. I'm loving it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, uh, 
but that's been our uh, that's been our Mick e- episode on McDonald's. <laughs> um, so, uh, and if you're listening, hopefully you're listening and you like, su- like, subscribe, and hopefully comment it. And if you're not, fucking do it, do it, do it. So uh, that's been our episode. What up, fools? And also, don't forget, it's cool to be fools. Come on now. Come on. <laughs>